Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for chlorine pentafluoride. So here we go. It's going to be ClF5, chlorine pentafluoride, and that's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the chlorine plus 5 fluorines each with 7 valence electrons of their own for a total of 42 uh, valence electrons. And we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which in this case will be 40, giving us 2 remaining. Divide that by 2, which gives us 1 non-bonding pair. And since 40 is equal to 8 times 5, that means that this is going to have an AX5E1 structure. 5 coming from here, 1 coming from here. Meaning that there is one central atom surrounded by 5 peripheral atoms. And then also the central atom has one non-bonding pair of electrons here. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. So we have the chlorine in the center surrounded by the five fluorines. We can go ahead and single bond each of the fluorines to the central fluorine as well as filling in each of the fluorines octets to give them their full eight electrons. All right, so there we go for that. And now we also have to fill in this one non-bonding pair of electrons on the central chlorine. So we'll just put that pair right there. And that should be our final structure. Now let's go ahead and verify this by calculating the formal charge. So the formal charge on the central chlorine is going to be equal to the seven valence electrons brought in minus the one, two, three, four, five bonds minus one, two, non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero and then the formal charge on each of the fluorines and if you notice they all have the same setup with one single bond and six non-bonding electrons so that means that all of their formal charges will be the same so for fluorine it's going to be the seven valence brought in minus the single bond one bond minus two four six non-bonding electrons which equals zero multiply that times five because there are five of them if you add up all these formal charges that results in an overall formal charge of zero which is what we need because this is not a charged particle or compound okay now when we have the ax5e1 structure that means that the shape is going to be called square pyramidal so it's kind of like a, a pyramid that has a square base all right and when you have this type of shape, the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to 90 degrees. All right. In terms of hybridization, looking at the central chlorine here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six electron groups or six potential bonding sites. So that means that we are going to need to have six hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3d2 hybrid. So 1s, 3ps, 2ds adds up for a total of six hybrid orbitals for the six electron groups. All right. And because of the fact that we have this non-bonding pair here on the bottom, that is going to make this a polar compound. All right. So that is pretty much it for this one. If we have any questions, uh, please let me know. And thanks for watching.